Hi, I'm Christy with Wall Decor Plus More, and we are coming today to show you a updated tutorial on how to apply a regular wall decal. So the first step is going to make sure that your wall is prepped, ready to go. This has been painted a couple months ago, so the paint is cured. And then you're going to want to just wipe with a wet cloth. You don't need any cleaner, you just need to make sure there's no dirt or residue left on the wall. And then we'll show you the decal. So our decals come rolled up in a tube like this. They'll come with an instruction tutorial. There's two sides. There's the step-by-step -step on one side. And then we have tips that you'll wanna pay attention to on the back. Um, we're basically showing you this, but reading it is also on the sheet. Your decal will come when you order direct from Wall Decor Plus More with the squeegee tool. And this is definitely handy. If you don't get one with your order, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a firm tool such as a credit card, um, anything firm and sturdy to rub with. Okay, here's our decals and the tools that we're gonna be using. Um, have a scissors handy, painter's tape, and your tape measure when you're getting ready to do this. Our decals come as a three-piece set. So you're going to see this This tape here is a sticky tape. The back side is tacky. This is our backing paper. It's got a waxy-like finish. Sometimes the back has lines on it. And then this black part right here is the actual decal. That's what will get applied to the wall and will stay on the wall. This layer, this layer are both going to get thrown away. They're just used to transfer the design to the wall. So you see the three part layers we have here. Okay, now we're at the wall again and we're going to see where we want to place this. I have a few unique markings on my wall that I wanna work around with. So I know this nail that was here is the center of my two areas here. So I'm gonna use that kind of as a guide and I have some marks here that I do not wanna apply my decal over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tape generally and then I'm going to use my tape measure to double check that I got everything straight. Um, you'll notice this wall has a texture so later when we're doing some peeling you'll want to notice how we work with the textured wall. It does require more patience but it can be done. So since this is a big area, generally you use the bottom of a letter. And if you're going with the design that this way, use a bottom of a letter here and a bottom of a letter here and measure with some level spots, either the wall, the ceiling. But since this is an up and down design, I'm actually going to use the sides of the letters to the, here to make sure that I have it straight and level. Um, this is not the exact same as this, so that's why I cannot use the bottom of the T. So let's do some measuring. I just have it lightly taped up there. It's going to have to get maneuvered around. So we'll start with the top of the E, 16 and a quarter to the doorway, and the bottom of an E we need to go this way. That's how much we have to move our design. So I actually need a second piece of tape to be able to make this firmly in place. When you're putting up designs, keep in mind placement generally is at eye level. If you're in a mainly standing room, if you're in a mainly sitting room, you can go a little bit lower. You want to stay away from putting it near your ceiling as that draws the eye to your ceiling instead of to your wall decor. 16 and a quarter. Sixteen and a quarter. So we're level here so then I know I'm going, um, I have a vertical design. So the next step is to start by peeling your backing paper which is the back side of this. And the best way to do it to make sure that your measurements have stayed in the spot is to use our hinge method. So that's why I'm going to put a tape in the middle 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the backing off up to here, apply this bottom part, and then I'll work with the top part. So I want to make sure that the top part does not move while I'm working with the bottom part. So this is the beginning of the hinge method application that we show in all of our designs. The best way to peel this backing paper off is to peel the backing away from the front. Don't attempt to pull this. You can't see the total what I'm talking about here because we can't flip it all the way over but if you're struggling to get these letters to go with this tacky part you need to make it so that this part is face down and this part is on the top so I'm going to cut this off and that's the first part that we're discarding lightly lay it down and then firmly press you can squeegee this now or you can come back and do it later the main parts to squeegee is your design. This tacky top tape is gonna get thrown away. So then we're going to work with the top part. And we have this firmly in place, so that's going to keep our um, design from moving as long as we lay this back up evenly. If we cockeye this, we're gonna get a crooked design. But as long as we go evenly it'll work so the second step peel the backing paper off this is the way you want to peel it the backing paper away from the decal not the decal away from the backing paper and then gently and since I have bumps in here I get a little bit of a maneuvering you can also use your fingers to to rub down your design and what I'm doing is I'm making sure the decal part is firmly down. I don't care if this tape gets um, wrinkled because it's not staying there. So now this step is you're going to firmly rub the decal part onto the wall. And this is definitely needed in order to get the basically that you're going to transfer the decal from the sticky part to your wall. So this squeegeeing will make it adhere to the wall a little bit better. Okay, the final step is to remove this top tacky paper. And this is where when you're working with textured walls, it can be tricky and you're going to have to go slow. So I'm going to actually work with small sections and kind of get a feel. So what you want to do is use your fingers and be pressing the design down and peeling the tape back as you go. I have a nice shiny paint on this wall so that also helps the decal stick to it better. If this were an eggshell paint this might not not be as smooth of a process. But you can see I'm using my finger either rubbing here or firmly pressing before the tacky tape even comes off. Now that I get a feel for how well it's sticking to the wall, I can work with a bigger area. Make sure when you first get to a, another part of your design, make sure it's sticking down good. Now this part is holding this down in place a little bit better. You can see when I'm not pressing, it's a little bit looser there. It's fine. You can also go over it with your finger and you're going to press it down as you take the tape off also. Fine little lines like this take a lot of patience to make sure that they're not um, getting wrenched stretched, torn. So we're getting to the final step. Once we get this tacky tape off, we're just going to check for any loose spots or bubbles and rub it down with our finger. And we will be done with this design. 
So I like to go over this and just rub it with your fingers. Oh, I got a little bit more to do, don't I? The smaller, the more delicate the design, the more difficult this last part is going to be. And also um, how much texture you have on your surface. So you notice how this little bubble, this little thing, I made sure that my decal didn't go over top of it so that I didn't have to maneuver this over them bumps. If you would get a little stretched out spot or a bubble, do this to it every single day. The decal kind of gets a memory. So if you keep rubbing it down after about a week, it will just stay there. It may come back up slightly after a month or two, rub it back down and it'll stay there.